Have you ever wondered what it takes to maintain a fish room or reptile room or both? Then make sure you stay tuned as we find out in today's video. like me and have always been into reptiles and fish and animals in general you'll probably know that owning a reptile room or having your lives revolve around the animals that you love is always been a dream but it doesn't come without its trials and tribulations and it's not always as glamorous as you think it is but there are definitely some positives and there are and there's definitely the reason why you see so many people do these things so I thought I'd give you a bit of an insight today and some of the things perhaps you don't see on my videos so why don't we crack on with today's video So as you've seen, it's not always as glamorous as it might make out on YouTube. I think there's lots of things you guys don't see in the videos, like you know me tidying up, setting up cameras for hours on end and lighting, and making sure sound's correct. But this is something I've always wanted to do. Now, it'd probably be best to explain the reasons why. Now, from when I was a little boy, I always loved animals, and my dad was a massive reptile fan. So as you can imagine, he's probably one of my heroes or my hero when I was a kid. Now. I always remember we always loved reptiles. Sorry, by the way, I'm just changing first bulb, UV bulb, bulb. So I always remember as a kid, my dad always was encouraging me into animals and loved reptiles. I remember seeing the first iguana in a pet store where I lived, which was Ben Heed of, and I remember I was hooked from there. We also used to go on holiday as well to a place in, in West Wales where they had a converted church, which was, I think it was called Silent World. And I always remember walking in there and the bottom half was converted into an aquarium and then the upstairs was converted into a reptile room. And from there on, I was like, that is the dream. So I've, it's something I've always wanted to do. It's not YouTube that's made me do this. It's more of a case I've always been interested in animals and I've always wanted to work with them as I was older, but as I'm sure a lot of you are the same, you probably don't think long term what you want to do when you're younger. So I had to try and find a way of working with animals myself, and I find this is the best way of doing it. Now, I used to remember when I first got back into reptiles from when I was a kid, and started keeping red-eyed tree frogs, and started looking into those, kept those for five, six years. And I always remember having one, two enclosures and thinking, I wish I was busier. I want more to do with these guys. So that's probably where we joined the goal of having a reptile room or a fish room and just giving myself an opportunity to work with animals like I've always wanted to. And through you guys' support and supporting this channel has enabled me to do that and I can be more grateful. And to keep this going um, as well as working full time I've got you know a relationship with my fiance we're planning a wedding and just make sure that you can accommodate all these things and make time for the animals that you need to because for me creating these environments and these living conditions for these animals is one of my main passions I love creating the bioactive setups aquascaping and creating specific homes for the animals I'd like to keep now, it is a case of knowing what you've got going on, keeping an eye on setups, watching their progress. You know, this tank here, we added some plants in a, a couple of videos ago, haven't done very well, breaking down in the water, so we need to get those out. 
and think of something else. Now, it's always a case of thinking forward, and I tend to try and always make sure I got things on hand that I potentially need, and that's something to consider as well. Obviously, that comes with the expense. Now, those of you who know, obviously, I love my planted tanks, and I love aquascaping. Sorry, I've got my hands in the bin here. Um, so, I've always tend to have plants on hand, extra filters, heaters, things like that, just in case anything goes wrong. Now, the convenience of this now is I've spotted a problem and I can resolve it straight away. Or like so. So I didn't want to leave Steve, the beta fish, without any plants because he does like to hide and rest amongst the plants. So I'll add one straight back in. It's not gonna win scape of the year but it does, him, it does the job it needs. So he's got somewhere to hide, he's got somewhere to rest, blow some bubbles if you'd like, and we've resolved that issue. So let's go ahead and fill this tank back up and crack on with today's video. So one of the biggest considerations I would take would be, as you can imagine, a lot of this costs a lot of money. So can you afford to do that? Now, I know a lot of people get in touch with me and talk to me about perhaps their mum or their dad or their girlfriend or boyfriend, husband, wife, doesn't quite understand their hobby, doesn't really want to fill their house with fish tanks and reptile enclosures, which to us, people I guess who live this sort of thing, we don't quite get that, but what you need to remember is not everybody likes the same things as us, doesn't actually appreciate it like we do. And to some people, and I'm sure a lot of you keep fish, reptiles have had a comment in the past of why would you want to do that? That's a bit weird, isn't it? That's a bit random. Um, so that's a big consideration now. I'm lucky enough to have a fiance who's been really, really supportive and I wouldn't be able to get this far without her, but that didn't go without his troubles initially. Like I said, you know, she didn't understand, you know, how passionate I was about these sort of things initially and probably, you know, it was a bit of a shock to some people's system. So it's really important that you're open and honest with the people around you and as always, your family should always be the most important thing. Now, I'm talking away, I'm just doing a bit of unboxing, so like I said, always spending money. So I think every day I'm pretty much unboxing something. Now, the other point I think with having a room like this would be, let's go to the packaging would be that you need to make time to constantly read up on what you look after, what you keep, what not just what you're going to keep. So I learned this lesson, not in a hard way really, but I posted the last video out of when we fed the reptiles. Now somebody kindly got in contact with me and pointed something out to me, which was great and those appreciate any advice, which was Nutriball is probably not the best calcium powder for a panther chameleon and I'll go into that in a little bit more detail on how I'm going to rectify this probably in another video. So thanks, I'm sorry, I really can't remember your name right now, but I'll pop it up there um, for letting me know and giving me the heads up. And I've since gone away and ordered the calcium. Now, I got the information I needed from Comedians UK, and I'll put a link down in the description if you go and check them out on Facebook. And they've got a really, really good schedule of, of when and how to give supplements to your comedian. So, we've got some Reptivite. Uh, where else have we got? Now, it's not just the animals you need to consider of cost, as those of you who've been following the channel for a while will know that I'm in the process of getting this room sorted once and for all. And what I mean by that is that, you know, I don't need, just need to worry about the enclosures of the animals, I need to make sure the room is firstly safe and that we are set to just carry on setting this up in the future. So I've recently had I'm recently going to have somebody come over and put some electric points in this room and change the uh, electric meter. So I've only got two double points in this room, believe it or not, so it's probably not the safest, so we need to make sure that we've got enough points. So electrical points, not very exciting, but we've got five double in black, which hopefully will match this room a little bit more. And it's not just a reptile room, I want to make this a room that's nice to be in, as well as looks nice. And obviously I do YouTube, so I'd like to create a bit of a YouTube studio, which looks nice when I'm talking to you guys, and we have a little bit of a home. So, I've just got a couple more packages. Oh, 
Okay, so that's the last of the packages then done. So nothing too exciting today, I'm afraid. No animals or fish, but I'm excited about these things. I don't know about you, but it's little things, isn't it? It is the little things. Look at that. See that? That really annoys me. Every time you do a thumbnail, I have to edit it out. So, I suppose the point I'm trying to make is why, and as well why videos have perhaps been a little bit di different recently is that I want to make sure this room is done. I don't want to have to rip the tanks out again. I want to just make sure that one, also we painted it last year. I'm going to be painting the ceiling this Thursday after the guys come around for electric points in. I do still need to get the sink in. I'm going to quote for that this weekend. And that should be the majority of the stuff and we can start plowing on with this room. So, we'll get those things done. I need to get that radiator out plaster that and paint it. So I'm going to try and get those done in the next couple of weeks. Still content to come on the animals and fish, so don't worry. But look, that will look so much, I don't know if you can see, but that looks so much better. I'm so sad, I'm getting excited about a switch. Also, just a cutting in tool for painting the ceiling, because I stupidly didn't paint it when I painted the walls. And I've got another pack of calcium, which is um, by Arcadia, it's Earth Pro. Now I've got another one coming as well, uh, which I don't know why it hasn't turned up today, and that's again for feeding schedule for Bert. Sorry I can't remember your name, but thanks very much, I'll pop it up there. Hey. Okay, so I hope that video has been a bit more interesting for you. Now, I hope you've learned a little bit what it's like to maintain and keep a fish or reptile room, or both. So, like I said, something I've always been passionate about and something I want to get into since I was a kid. Now, not just because more animals is better, definitely not. Now, I only get animals if I know the right one, I get the time to care for them. I've researched them enough. Now, I have made mistakes like that in the past and you definitely will learn from them. Now, something else to consider would be that, obviously, if you're going to put these things on social media, YouTube, and create a channel around this sort of thing, you've definitely got to be open to criticism. And, you know, you'll put in everything that's positive and a negative up online about how you keep your animals so you need to be open to the fact that some people are going to criticize you some people are going to give you a hard time about things now it does get to you from time to time but i know myself that i do everything i possibly can am i the most experienced reptile or fish keeper in the world no do i know everything about everything definitely not Am I in a position to tell you how to do things always? Definitely not. All I can do is share my experiences, mistakes and positives to so help you learn from them. And I definitely learn something from it each time I go through that. But my biggest advice to you would be, if you want to start something like this and, and create something of your own, build something for yourself, it's definitely been something that's turned my life around, enabled me to work with animals, which I thought was something I'd never be able to do. And it's definitely thanks to mainly, you know, a lot of the people around me, particularly my fiance, who's been amazingly supportive. And, you know, my dad, who's always been an influence and has definitely been somebody that got me into these things in the first place. Without those two, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. And equally, you know, a kindness of strangers, I suppose, initially, you guys have been the driving force behind this channel as well, you know, as much as I have, you've supported me and you've pushed this channel forward. Now, on that note, I woke up this morning and we hit 3,000 subscribers. So thank you very much, I couldn't be happier with that. Now, I still want to push forward with this channel and this is something that, you know, is going to be a long-term project, it's going to be a long-term goal. This YouTube channel is here to stay. This room is only going to get better and better with time and who knows what the future will bring. But again, I just want to say a massive thank you to those who are around me, family, friends who support me. I love you all. And to you guys, you have been amazing. Don't worry, I'm not going to cry. But again, thanks for watching the video today. For those of you, as always, who are original or have been watching my videos in the past, do me a massive favor, give me that thumbs up. Just drop me a comment, just show YouTube you're enjoying this sort of content. And if you're a new viewer, first of all, hello, welcome to the channel. If you do a massive favor, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on your future videos. As always, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you don't miss the next and I'll see you next time.